Hello and welcome. So, continuing off my top two reviews with series 10, episode 11, World Enough and Time. That's, that's a tale and a half. Uh, so, yeah, I loved this episode. I loved every single second of this episode. Um, and I really hope it stops people having a go at Stephen Moffat. I, I, I don't get the hate of Stephen Moffat. I think he is a terrific writer. Yeah, he's done some duds. So is Russell T. Davis. And don't have... People should just you know, fall for Russell to Davis all the time. I like Russell to Davis. End of the day, he wrote Love and Monsters. There you go. You know, uh, they've all done good and bad. Uh, but, yeah, stick to this episode. Uh, it's the first part, obviously, of the finale. Um, I'm just going to say right now, obviously, this will be a spoiler review. I, a lot of my kind of reviews, it's just what I quickly think about it. But I want to talk quite a bit about this episode. Um, yes, so the Cyberman... Uh, are back once again and I actually used really well um, this is a really scary disturbing episode the one thing I like about Moffat and I've always said about this he is great at writing atmosphere I think he is superb in this uh, what, uh, what he does um, here and I like obviously the bit where um, they're in this uh, the ship one end is actually another part of time while the other end isn't because there's black hole that is near and I love that stuff. That is some great, like, sci-fi, and I really like that. It's very, actually, kind of rare. You get kind of, like, stuff like that I feel like in Doctor Now. But I, I, I really enjoyed that. And the moment where I didn't see Obviously Coming, I didn't know anything about it. I'm surprised BBC didn't spoil it, like another thing that happens later in the episode. But um, the the moment where uh, Bill gets shot, and it's it's really quite shocking. You didn't really see it, um, uh, it coming. And... Quite actually, quite um, quite disturbing. Actually, the shot uh, it's really well done, um, and I, I, this is when this is when I love Moffat at his writing is because you've just had a shot, you know she's dead. I don't know. I feel like something's gonna happen, but uh, and then we go back and seeing Capali trying to win her over of saying, you know, oh, nothing's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. No, um, you, you start to kind of think to yourself, like, he, he said it to, like, you know, when the doctors of Rose and Martha and Donna and Amy and Clara, it's like, oh, everything's going to be fine, you can trust me, and it's like, no, 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 you're not, no, you're not, <laughs> uh, so, uh, but, you know, I, I really enjoyed um, that, that kind of, uh, that, that stuff, uh, also, I should talk about, obviously, the opening sequence, where, I'm going to say right now, I actually think that is Mondas. I think um, it'll keep on going unless it is some, like, in the North Pole or somewhere, I don't know, in, in, in the world, I guess. But uh, obviously he's got the longer hair, which if you actually kind of see Capaldi right now, he does actually have that longer hair, which is amazing. I love Capaldi with longer hair. See this whole, like, mad scientist hair that he has, I think is just brilliant, really. Um, uh, but, yeah, obviously talk about the kind of... Uh, the, the the big moments at the end. Um, now I'm, I'm I'm going to say it right now, uh, and you probably won't believe me, but it was true. When I first watched this, when that character Razor first appeared, I was like, "That's John Sim." I don't know why. I just did, it's just I, I I just thought that's that's surely John Sim because a I knew he was obviously in it. Um, I thought right, okay, this character seems mysterious. I feel like in disguises, maybe putting it together. Also, I feel like you could really tell it was John Sim in the eyes a little bit. He's kind of head size. Hmm. Uh, but, uh, yeah, see if BBC didn't, you know, reveal that spoiler of that, that John Sim, obviously, is uh, back. That would have been a great reveal. Like, that would have been up there with some of the best, like, oh, I didn't see that coming, you know, you know, um... That would have been some good stuff. Uh, and I like the um, uh, the sound man where he kept saying pain and all that. That was some scary stuff. That was really well done. Uh, and then they just mute them and all that. It was, it was it's th that stuff I really enjoyed. Um, there's actually nothing really I didn't actually enjoy. I, you know what? I actually have to I have to give my um, uh, dues to Murray Gold actually because I I have said it quite a couple of times that I think Murray Gold should leave. Um, I still think he should, uh, don't get me wrong, but he was really good here. This, this, like, especially that kind of um, high kind of choir uh, vocal bit when um, Bill does get shot is, is really howling and really well done. And I think to myself, why can you not keep doing this? Like, I don't understand why he's dipped so much, you know. 
and it's got nothing to do with, you know, people can say, uh, you know, I, I feel like the word is like, oh, I'm off and he's right, and it's got, that's got nothing to do with it. He, he's, Murray Gold gets left to do his kind of, and he's amazing at it, with his amazing intelligence, that he can come out with great music, and, you know, when you see in this episode, it's like, you, you, you still got it, he's still amazing, so I, I, I don't know really what's kind of going on, but, um, yeah, it was great seeing John Sim. I think John Sim and Missy are going to be great together. They they were already great in that kind of one scene that they had together. So, uh, yeah, I really, really loved this episode. And I cannot wait for the finale. I'm really excited for it. Um, so, yeah, what did you guys think? Did you enjoy this episode? Did you hate this episode? Comment down below. Tell me what you think. More videos in the future. So, until then, see you later.